The Solana ecosystem is known for a lot of things and crypto games isn't really high on that list. Well, I think it's time to change that. Let's talk about play to earn games on the Solana network. Welcome back to the Mind Blow Show. I'm your host, The Inspector. In order to not miss on any future videos, consider subscribing, hitting the little bell icon, and also, if you're really feeling the love, smack that like button that way you show your support. Only takes you half a second, and it means a lot to me. Ladies and gentlemen, we will start with three games that are out to play right now, and then talk about three games that are up and coming to keep your eyes on, all on the Solana Network, all free to play. We're gonna start things off with one of my favorites called Eve.io and that is also their website ev.io. It is a first person shooter developed by Addicting Games takes inspiration from the bungee style shooters like Halo and Destiny. It is a free to play game but you can only earn if you do have an NFT. NFTs you can also claim for free but you need to invest a little bit of time into the game before you can do that. But the good thing is you can hop on a game right now and see how you enjoy it. I actually had a lot of fun playing this game. Of course FPS games are not where they need to be in cryptocurrency overall, but games like EVIO definitely take the initiative into the right direction. There's over 10 maps, over 20 weapons, 5 game modes, also private games for hosting tournaments, and if you do have an NFT, if you get your hands on an NFT either by investing or by earning it, you get Solana for every kill you make. Currently it is a browser game for Windows for web, to be more specific, and while it may have the cartoony look that a lot of people don't really like, it does have very good shooting mechanics that I have thoroughly enjoyed while playing this game. If you're into FPS games, if you're into shooting other people and earning Solana for it, this is for you. But also on this list we'll talk about more shooter games such as Battle Royale shooter games. We have strategy games, all of which are free to play, or rather they should call it free to try. Because in order to really earn inside of these games, you do need an NFT, which you can also obtain for free. So I guess, in a way, technically all of them are free to earn. Moving on to the Battle Royale, ladies and gentlemen, called Mini Royale Nations. We have talked about Mini Royale... Tongue twister. We have talked about Mini Royale Nations in the Crypto Tier List video from last Sunday. And believe it or not, by the time you're watching this video, I'll be somewhere in Italy taking a little vacation and I'm recording these videos back to back. So hopefully I get the dates and days right. And hopefully you appreciate my dedication and consider subscribing. Mini Royale Nations is a community owned skill based shooter with different PvP and PvE game modes. So PvP being player versus player and PvE being player versus environment where you don't play against other players but rather you play against the AI. The game economy rewards social behaviors and is designed to be an endless experience. So the core is the shooter game, the battle royale, but that's not the only thing this game offers. Because everything is built on top of the social strategy game with a deep emphasis on clans, alliances and social mechanics. Currently you can literally go to their website and start playing right now on the web for completely free without even making an account. But they are similar to Fortnite, it does have Fortnite vibes, at least their main menu and everything does, where they do have the battle passes, the seasonal achievements and rewards that they do, which is very nice. I, I do like games taking other things from other games that work. If something works in a different game, why not try it out in your game as well? Rather than reinventing the wheel, just make something that you know works, that you know people enjoy. And then adding your own twist to it. There's leaderboards and tournaments and all kinds of different things that they do for Mini Real. So I definitely recommend you checking it out. It's not the prettiest game to look at, I guess. But then the upcoming games, whoo! Those are some lookers, man. So with that being said, moving on to the third game called The Heist. Might not be a game that you have heard about before, but this is a DeFi idol PvP game. Introducing users to a risk-based mechanic built around their desire for degeneracy and dopamine. That's their description of the game. I'm in. I'm sold. <laughs> that's, that's a great description. Either way, this is a high stakes risk based game of crime, corruption and bananas. So there's chimps and gorillas in this game and they fight it out over bananas. If I was a chimp, I'd find this racist. Fortunately, I'm not. So I find it hilarious. <laughs> so currently this game is available for Mac and for Windows and I'm really looking forward 
being available. Punch my microphone, sorry. And I'm really looking forward to this game being available for mobile phones because I think this type of game will work really, really well on mobile phones. So looking at Twitter, Anglio has just bought one of the chimps for six Solana. So $114 he has paid for that particular chimp. And hopefully he's gonna get all the bananas that come to him, I hope. Good luck to you and uh, you know, I hope you get all the bananas you need. With that being out of the way, we're moving on to up and coming Solana Play Touring Games. And I would also like to take this chance and invite you to a Twitter space that me and a friend of mine will be hosting. We're opening up a new company called Tube Tactics. Since I've been doing YouTube videos for over 10 years over various channels. My biggest channel is 1.3 million subscribers. It's a gaming channel. I want to talk about how I got there, various tactics, various strategies I have used to get there. Answer your question if you have any. If you're an up and coming YouTuber content creator, uh, hopefully I can help you out in any way. Uh, you don't have to pay for anything. You can just join. It's free. Just wanted to give a little, little, little shout out to that. So everything will be happening over on my Twitter and you have the link for that in the description down below or on my ex, I should say right now. It feels a little bit weird to say on my ex, but you know you know what I mean, on my Twitter. So, first game we're gonna talk about, of course, being Star Atlas. Massive multiplayer online metaverse, or an MMOM, one of the new genres that's been popping up ever since crypto games became a thing. In the distant future, three galactic factions have emerged. In an ongoing struggle for resources, territorial conquest, and political domination, players can join a faction and directly influence the course of the metaverse and earn real-world income for their contributions. A free-to-play game with NFT support and play to earn capabilities. It is set in space and it promises so much. The game is still in development and it promises so much. Their trailer has amassed over 1 million views on YouTube and if they deliver on all their promises, this will be an absolutely amazing experience for everyone involved. Well, it is what it is. I really hope the best. I, I, I wish them the best. I don't want to get too hyped. I've been hyped about games before and they have let me down. So I'm not going to do it again. Hopefully they get the tokenomics right. Hopefully they nail that part and people can actually earn and all these other things about political domination and everything sound amazing. From this perspective, we haven't seen much from crypto games. So if someone promises that much, you're a little bit skeptical if you know what I mean. I am, you know I am. So I wish them the best, I hope they succeed, the game looks absolutely stunning from all the footage we've seen and I can't wait to get my hands on it. Next game to take a look at, next game to keep on your mind, that is also on the Solana blockchain, it is play to earn, it has NFT support, it is free to play and it is free to earn and it's called Decimated. Another game I've talked about in the past, this is a third person shooter on the rise. You can either play as a human or a cyborg in this dystopian world. If you choose a cyborg over a humanity, I don't even know what to tell you. You gotta pick humanity, man. Get the cyborgs down. I, I never pick anything except humans if I can choose. I'm, I'm very racist toward the aliens. <laughs> so while this is also an MMORPG where you can interact with other people online, it is also a shooter and it is also a survival game. So the environment is very harsh. Earth is not meant to be lived on. There's pollution, there's technological debris in the environment. Survivors that have set up shelters and destroyed skyscrapers, laboratories, abandoned metros, crumbling free ways. It is very dystopian and I for one am a huge fan of the dystopian setting in movies and TV shows but also in games. So again, it is a crypto game but everything else sounds very good. It sounds like a very very good well balanced regular game and then on top of that add the financial incentive Absolutely amazing. If, so if you do like the debate of whether a free-to-play game that's really good games you can just enjoy and it also has NFTs on the side is better than an NFT game where you've got to invest and you can earn and it has financial incentives. So which one is better? We're going to have a discussion about that this Sunday. So I'm really looking forward to recording that video right after I'm done recording this one and uploaded for Sunday. So that's going to be awesome. Be on the lookout for that. Now, we're talking about Aurori, which is the last game that I wanted to talk about today. It's an upcoming game on the Solana blockchain. Another adventure, PvP, RPG, MMO, Metaverse, whatever you want to call it. It's going to be free to play, play to earn, of course. NFT support and so this is a very highly competitive PvP turn-based strategy game so in the PvP section it is a strategy game but outside of that outside of that PvP battle mode you also have your own character that you get to explore the world with and you can see gameplay of it right now you run around the world you finish quests and if you go over on their website you actually have a playable version right now not the adventure mode that I've just talked about and shown you but the PvP mode where you get to play 
played the turn-based strategy game. It's available to try right now. You don't even need a wallet or anything totally free to play. Never mind, I just tried. You do need a wallet. Sorry about that, but it is free to play. Solana has a lot of good things coming up, and while I don't own any Solana, I'm not too big of a fan of the Solana blockchain. I think it's very centralized. I do want everyone in this space to succeed as when any project does something good inside of the industry it's good for everyone else so i want everyone to succeed and it'll be awesome for everyone else as well thank you for watching ladies and gentlemen my name is the inspector and i'll see you all next time peace